Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I am Lily and today I will show you how to calculate your tribe's nutritional needs. In any of the timelines, calculating and getting the food needs of your tribe right is tricky as it is not only pending the environment and your tribe size, but also the varying composition that your tribe is made up from. In the Mesolithic timeline, we simply follow the food to the next locality. We have no other real choice when food reserves are gone in the current. While in the Neolithic timeline, we can stay sedentary, building farms, to take care of the majority of the food needs that the tribe has. We can get away with miscalculating farm and food needs in general for large tribes in both the beginners and expert difficulty, as all food, both wild and cultivated, comes in big abundance. While in hardcore difficulty, we do not have that option. After just a few years, same locality, your wild produce will be so low, you will need farms for migration. Knowing who eats how much and of what will do the trick for calculating tribe nutritional needs at any point and knowing how much you can expect from each type of food will help you calculate the amount you need for your tribe to be healthy. Let's start with who eats how much and why. The varying food types have various amounts of calories in them. This is why you will sometimes see people are eating 5 units of berries while only below 1 unit of dried meat. And all tribe members have a specific caloric need. High calorie foods are all animal products and produce such as milk, raw fish and raw meats, hazelnuts and all processed foods such as dried fish, dried meat, cheese and bread. Low calorie foods are pine nuts, honey, clams, bone marrow and both types of berries. All other food types are in between the two. Some of the food types will give happiness when eating such as all seafood and meats plus milk, cheese, bread, berries and honey, while other food types are abhorred, such as roots, uh, both grain types and bone marrow. Anything between here is neutral. Children and elderly will eat between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 units per meal. All these calculations are for food that is either high calorie or medium. If your tribe is having a lot of low calorie food, you will have to calculate more per tribe member. Adults will eat between 0 0.7 and 1 full unit. Pregnant women and nursing mothers can at times eat over one unit, pending the calories of the food that they are consuming. The reason pregnant and nursing mothers need more is because they are basically also feeding their little one. The composition of age groups in the tribe can now be used to calculate the approximate amount of medium calorie food your tribe needs per meal. To get painstakingly exact numbers, you will need to change the numbers per death, per birth, per low calorie versus per medium and per high calorie food. Have fun! We will calculate with medium to high calories. In this hardcore tribe, we have 253 members in total. We will round up with five in all categories. So we have 55 children who will eat between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 units each. We have 75 elderly who will eat the same as the children. Adults are 125 who will eat approximately a little bit less than one unit per meal with medium calorie foods. Children and elderly put together gives 130 members who will eat an average of 0 0.6 unit max of medium calorie food per meal. This is 78 units max per meal. Then we add the adults, which is 125 max units per meal. Then we have 10 babies, which means the mothers will need approximately 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 units extra or more per meal. So this is two units added to 125, which then amounts to a maximum of 127. Altogether, we now have a total of 205 max units per meal. We wish to have then between 180 and 205 units 
per meal. Now let's calculate per sleep. All numbers will be an approximate as tribe normally eat a mix of low, medium and high calorie foods. The tribe eats two meals per sleep. So on fast we get two meals per month which is between 360 and 410 units max. On normal we get four meals per month which is between 720 and 820 units max. While on slow we get a whopping six meals per month which is between 1080 and 1230 units max. We can now take the monthly count and time it by 12 months which will give us the full unit amount the tribe needs per year. On fast, tribe needs between 4,000 and 5,000 units of food. On normal, tribe needs between 8,500 and 9,800 units of food. On slow, tribe needs between 13,000 and 15,000 units of food per year. The higher calorie foods you have, the less of a unit people need to eat. So keep this in mind when you are calculating. If we calculate, however, roughly for only high calorie foods, we will get a reduction of an average of between 0.2 and 0.3 units of food per meal. So for slow, this will be an approximate amount of 10,000 units needed per year instead of the maximum 15,000 per year. The simple way to do this now that you know the need of tribe and the caloric values for food, you can take the total tribe amount minus the second highest amount in your age category to get the approximate minimal nutritional unit amounts per meal and the lowest amount of age category to get the approximate maximum nutritional unit amounts needed per meal. So as a minimum our tribe of 253 will be 253 minus 73 which is 180 minimum units of food per meal. Our tribe for maximum count will be 253 minus 51 equals 202 maximum units of food per meal. This means average for tribe and much more likely to be exactly what your tribe will eat is 191 units of food per meal. Now go do your maths and have fun! <laughs>